Hello everybody, hope everyone's doing well. Today I'm going to be talking about um, this shotgun scabbard made for smaller type shotguns uh, to carry on your back, chest, however you want. I'm going to show you different ways. One thing about all gear, um, and by the way, welcome to my channel, Ghost Gen 3. One thing about all gear is you need to practice with it. Um, <clears throat> you just, you just, that's just the way it is. With every gear that you have, you need to practice with it, and it just gets easier and easier. And then maybe you don't have time after a while, you still need to practice it. So, um, this thing, I used to have one, I don't right now, but this scabbard is pretty much exactly like uh, the ones that are made for 18 and a half inch barrel shotguns, you know, pistol grip, and even uh, full stock, uh, depends. And trust me, I'm going to show you, it's not like the movies where this scabbard is on the back, and it's so easy to pull your shotgun out, and it's not. Um, I've had some techniques that I use, but... Uh, would I go that method? No. For carrying, yes, but if I had to and I, I'm, I'm out there and I got to walk and it's the most comfortable way to carry my uh, my weapons, is specifically shotgun, uh, which I'm going to show you my Serbu shotgun. And the Serbu shotgun basically, for some of you who don't know, but I think most of you do, is this. <clears throat> yes, it's legal uh, many states. And uh, this thing has six and three quarter inch barrel. So it only holds three shotgun rounds, one in the chamber, uh, two in the chamber, one in the pipe, you know, and ready to go. Unless you're going to keep two here in the chamber and you want to uh, cock your shotgun, then you're just going to have two rounds. Unless you start putting a third one in, you have time. Uh, this has a knock stock. I'll do another review on this uh, later. You guys have seen me shooting it on my other videos. But for today, I'm using it so you guys uh, could see how it works with this uh, um, scabbard that's made for it. Like I said, the scabbard's pretty much the same thing. Um, almost in every way, just some minor differences for the 18 and a half uh, <clears throat> inch barrel uh, shotguns. Uh, pistol grips or medium stock, retractable. I've seen full stock. So um, this is the way it looks. It's got some. It's not, you know it's pretty tough. I'll tell you this. This is a Condor. Uh, I'm sorry, not a Condor. I have a lot of Condor uh, equipment gear. This is Voodoo Tactical, and it's kind of a nice little finish in there. But I can tell that'll rip eventually. It going in and out in time. It's got a rigid foam in here on both sides. Uh, I couldn't tell you, but it's hard, so that's good. But like I said, this material right here, I'll, I can tell you right now, it's going to eventually tear it as uh, the shotgun's going in and out and grips on certain, it uh, just kind of grips on certain areas. You got uh, for bullet holes, right? I mean, bullet holes. <laughs> Sorry. You got for, uh, loops for shells. Uh, these are loose. I've had this a while, so I'm going to have to figure out a way to uh, tighten them. If I even use them there, I, I normally have other systems, but I mean, you could probably put something else. Unfortunately, these loops are kind of cheap. This is pretty inexpensive, um, especially the shorter one like this. And uh, depending on where you see them, $12, uh, $15, $20. So anyways, these things will fall through right here. Uh, it's got your molly on both sides, as you can tell, and on this side. Now, the difference is, um, as you can tell, on this side, now here's your opening because of the way the shotgun's going to go, which I'll show you. <clears throat> and this weapon's been cleared, by the way, so for those of you guys that gripe, not stupid, <clears throat> anytime I do these videos, I like to have my weapons cleared, don't need it, be uh, loaded right now. Do I train with them with uh, ammo in it? Of course. I've been doing this for a lot, a lot of years, uh, a little over 30 years, and I know what I'm doing, I try to be as safe and professional as, as always. So, anyways, um, and of course I don't put ammo on these because we want to be even safer and you don't need it because it's just demonstration. Um, so this is the way it's going to go on this opening right here. That's where your grip is going to go on your shotgun or your stock, you know, pretty much. And that's what it's going to look like. So I'm going to show you what it's going to look like on attack vest. For those of you that want it on back there, uh, like I said, it's a difficult process to get it out. I have some techniques, but <clears throat> I've worked on them for years. And at the same time, it's still weird. Um, what works for you may not work for me. What works for me may not work for you. This is basic of you, not just of this, but tactically how this can work for you. And I'm going to show you some techniques on how to carry this. Some it's going to, to a lot of you, hopefully a few, but it's probably going to be a lot of you. You're going to say, holy God, I'm not, I would never carry it this way. I would never do this. Well, with certain gear, there's only certain ways to carry it. Um, and you have to get creative and inventive. For some people, I'm always outside the box. That's always naturally been me. 
it what works for me does not work for others or they may not understand it um, in the field and everything else and uh, throughout my life I've known how to carry gear that works for me and I've been really good at it so uh, for me I'm not bragging or nothing like that I, I still practice you constantly have to practice if you love something and you want to get really really good at it so I'm going to show you how that and different methods of carrying this um, it's going to look odd to some of you it's going to say holy moly that's dangerous and some are well anything with firearms is dangerous People pulling their guns out of their holsters is dangerous if you don't know what you're doing or your fingers in that, in the on the trigger. So, um, even in emergencies, which I've been in, you know, like I said, it's constant practice. It doesn't matter what field or what you're in and, and what you do, but it's just everything is practice. Like my sensei, for those of you guys that don't know and gals, what a sensei is, it's a master teacher in martial arts. And I used to ask him even as a kid. Well, you know, I did this a thousand. You tell me, do it a thousand times. I practice, practice, practice. Then I did it probably a thousand times, and then as soon as that, he told me, now you do another thousand. And then when you do a thousand, ten thousand. Then you do a million. When you reach a million, then you do another million. So it's a what he's teaching me is constant training. No matter how good you get and how <clears throat> how badass you feel that you're doing something so great, you can always improve on it. So, anyways, let's get to this. And. Uh, like I said, I'll do a review of my shotgun uh, later on because I know it's badass. It's cool. You gotta admit, it's cool. I love it. So <clears throat> we're gonna. Um, this thing's not that comfortable. It's not horrible to wear, but it's not that comfortable. Um, obviously, if you're wearing your your pistol, depending on what holster you have, I've always used tack holsters. I've used some up here, uh, Safari Lands and different kind. And this one basically, um, a reason I'm wearing it so you can see. How you transition from weapons if you're not going to use this and, and now you got to use shotgun and you feel hey i got to use my shotgun now well this is how you this is going to be on you so let's get to this right here and uh normally what i would do before we start this i can show you real quick i have a sling system very inexpensive sling system this works for me in this shotgun because uh, this shotgun has a knox grip which is awesome so this is what i do you know basically and on some of my videos you'll see me with this and this is the way I prefer to carry it, or I move it back behind me. And if I need to transition to my weapon, yes, this has been cleared, folks. <clears throat> like I said, I have nothing on me that's uh, ammo wise. So, gotta like that laser. So, it's behind me, or whatever I have to do, or get behind uh, uh, cover or anything else. If this system, like I said, doesn't work for you, use something else. There's always, there's so many types of gear, that's what I love, that can help somebody. Maybe you're weaker, stronger in some points, taller, shorter. Um, whatever it is, there's some kind of gear out there I've seen that'll help you. You know, it, it'll work better for you than others. Some people are like, oh, that thing sucks. It's, well, for you. I really don't put down gear unless it's just cheap quality. Then that's, I don't care who makes it. If it's cheap quality, it's dangerous. So it doesn't mean you have to go and buy, uh, you know, $100 slings. That's up to you and your finances and everything else. I have good, really good gear. I found gear that's inexpensive as well that works like this. I mean, this just works awesome, uh, especially for this type of system of ring here. But like I said, I could put it either way. And this is just, you know, corded and soft. So I'll do a review on this. I just wanted to kind of give you an idea and then before I go to the shotgun scabbard. But this is my preferred method. And, um, and it just feels comfortable to me. So if I want to take the shotgun out, this is right here. It's very simple. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to figure one of these kind of things out. Um, all right, so let's get to this. Now, as you notice, it's only on one side, which means if you're right-handed, it's on this side, so there's going to be certain ways you can only carry it. If you're a lefty, for you lefties out there, <coughs> obviously it's going to be this way, and the shotgun is going in this way, um, like this. So basically, once the shotgun's in there, and this also includes your 18 and a half. For you guys, you know, I, I just mentioned it before. The scabbard's very similar to the 18 and a half long ones. And I and I I think those are good too. And you can put them on a tack vest, and I'm gonna show you I have different tack vests for different purposes and uh, and uh, just training as well. Well, basically, if you're a lefty, look, you gotta remember, look, this is gonna go around your shoulder or uh, your body crosswise. So it, it's on the inside. Kind of makes you go, huh? And if you put it this way, this is going to be on your back. So I'm going to show you different ways right now. And like I said, these mollies here, the good thing is <clears throat> you can remove this, this thing right here, 
and then attach it to your tack vest or, or backpack or uh, vehicle. Maybe your seats are uh, fixed up with mollies. That's pretty cool. Um, and the places you can do it. And the one good thing I almost forgot to mention, this is padded at least because this will be running on your neck and you're going to see in a second. So, all right, let's get to this. So what you can do is put this on first and then put the shotgun in or you already had the shotgun in there and then you put it on. Either way it works. Uh, always be safe when you have ammo um, in your weapon. Uh, like I said, you constantly have to be thinking that. So, all right, so let's start with this way. It's, this is going to be weird for some of you guys to see maybe. Others, you're just going to get it and pick up on it. Now, whether you're wearing a tack vest or not, if you're wearing a tack vest, this is obviously going to get in the way of your AR, AK mags or whatever system you use. And when I put on the, one of my tack vests, you're going to see. But, hey, I'm just showing you the different ways on how to use this. It's up to you how you're going to use it, what works best for you, whether it's a tack vest. Like I said, if it's end of the world kind of stuff, and you hear me say that, emergencies, hey, screw it. I'll throw it on over my tack vest. I am going to put one of my tack vests on, depending on the situation and what weapon I'm going to carry from my AR to others. And if this is covered, it's great. You can always slide it to the side. And I'm going to show you this right now. So, all right, here we go. So right now, as you can see, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like in the back. And I have it from right shoulder to left side of my, uh, uh, my body side my body trunk. So see how this is? That means the, the grip is going to go up this way because of the way this curvature is right here. So this is one way. Remember this is unloaded. <clears throat> I suggest everybody tries this. You want to try with your shotguns whether it's a servo type or I've seen other guys 12 inch, 14 inch uh, barrels on your shotguns or 18 and a half. You know you're killing your wrist. I'm pretty strong but you know what when it comes to wrist in this weight I mean you're, you're doing this. You're going to cause strain there and the last thing you want is to be injured at any moment, any level. So what I suggest is, on these, it's no major hurry. Don't grab it from here, but use your other hand. That's what you have it for, and then turn it around like this. This is the way it's going here. Don't point it at you. I don't care if there's no rounds. Always make sure this thing is. Pretend there's a stick or a laser there, and just point it in here into your scabbard. And if you have something like this around here, you know you have to push up because it's going to just rip everything in there. And this is tap it here there you go now this is it's probably strange to some of you guys and it is weird this is by your face so you have to readjust you know here and there I mean pull this right here the padding make sure because it's gonna move it's always gonna move that way it's by your neck and it's a little bit more comfortable so this seems funny it's strange sticking out but remember you're carrying your stuff you need to get carry weapons so that way you're not just slinging everything you're off balance so this is one way it's kind of resting up here. Almost feels like when I'm wearing my uh, chest rig, on my, my AR chest rig, not my regular tack vest, because your AR mags here, your pistol mags are in the front. You know, whatever <clears throat> way you have it on your on your system. But anyways, this is one way. Now, I'm going to show you and demonstrate techniques that how you can get it out this way. It does look funny, but funny. Who cares when you got the enemy in front of you? It's what works for you comfortable. These scabbards are meant to be used either on a pack or a your attack vest because of the mollies or any system like that, even a car, like I said. Um, and if, but if you're going to carry like this, like most of us, meaning on over your shoulder, these are different ways I'm giving you so you can see what they're like, what you're comfortable with, uh, what you're not comfortable with, because not everybody's going to be comfortable. So, but my thing is try it, see what, see how you feel, you know, give everything a chance. Um, anyways, so let's say this is loaded, you know, all of a sudden, you know, you want to make sure this is not in the way. You could always slide this like I just did and now you're in pistol mode so you know you're <clears throat> this is the way it looks from behind and everything and now you decide hey you know what okay I need to be in uh, shotgun mode so you have your little shotgun here or like I said 18 and a half it's, 18 and a half is going to be weird like this 18 and a half I would recommend more like that if you're going to carry here in the front because it's going to be like this so most likely better in the back somewhere but that's something you got to play with but for the most part these techniques and everything are the same for that length of shotgun, especially if it's pistol grip, that helps. If it's got longer stock, then your stock's going to stick out like this. So, yeah, it is a bit weird. So this is specifically more for a shorter shotgun. So let's say you're here. You can actually just go like this, grab both hands. You're going to use your left. This is for righties. It's, you know, obviously for lefties, it's going to be a little different. Just the opposite, that's all. So you're going to do this. You don't want to grab like this. It's too difficult. It's just not ergonomic. Your hand's not made that way, your wrist. So what you're going to do is 
hold this because you don't want the whole thing to move. See that? What you do is use your other hand. You're holding this. You're not going to hold it tight because then you're holding your weapon in there tight. So you're going to pull it out like this a bit. As soon as you pull it out, you're straight out and you're ready. Now mine has this right here. Others are pumped, which is fine. You don't have to waste that half a, ooh, a whole half a second. And then you're ready to go and you're in shotgun mode. Let's say now you're done. You hunted your little pheasant or whatever in the survivor days or your suspect you dealt with. They complied or not and you took care of business. Well, that's what I got to do to get this uh, down right here. So, easy way. You grab it with your left hand. Okay, so as you're seeing right here, I'm going to do different angles. I'm going to do it several times. Grab it with your left hand. Notice my finger's always out of, out of the trigger. And it's unsafe. So let's pretend this is loaded. You just took care of business. Did what you had to do. <clears throat> your hand's going to go over on top. Somewhere on top, preferably somewhere center-wise so you can, you don't want to hear because it's not balanced. So you're going to hear. You're going to grab. See my hand right here? You're going to grab here. See how it's pointed away from my body? I'm not doing this and then going there. It's uncomfortable and you don't want to be in bad habits like that. So as you're in shotgun mode, you're going to grab it on top very quick. I'm just going to do it slow. This slides with your, with your pistol grip. Or if you have the stock, let's say you just have the stock like this, it slides, just your hand. So basically you're sliding here, barrels away. See that? Pointing it, barrels away. Goes in here. As soon as you get in there, use your left hand. Make sure you guide it in. Then you can go from down here, slide it in. There you go. Very simple, so I'll do it again. You can even use, like I said, it's out here. Sure, if you had to in your tight quarters, you can pull it out this way. Same thing, you're going to do that little roll. You're going to pull it out this way. It's pointing away from your body. Your other hand is helping you so you're not thrashing your wrist. See that little turn? Very simple. Little turn, and you're good to go. So, the same little turn again. You don't want to hold it like this. That's how you want to hold it. Get it in there. Then it's safe. You're not going to drop your weapon. And it's there. So, that's one way. The very same technique. Except you're to the side this way. So, once again, I'll demonstrate from the side. If it's fully, this is going to carry it like this. <clears throat> you're going to pull it out like this. Out. And you're ready to go. Hand over again. Like I said, very simple. Just slides right over. Same with this one. You're holding it. It's not going to fall. You're guiding it in there. And then you can go into pistol mode if you need to. Let's do it from this side. So if we're this way, I'm going to pull it out from here. So notice my hand is coming right under. Spin. You're in shotgun mode. Hand goes right over. This one slides. You have a good grip on it. That's why this one's important. Right in the center. Point it away from you. Go right, right in your scabbard. You may hear a little tears here and there. <laughs> that's normal. So, okay, that's for flat. Second technique. Okay, now you're in pistol mode. You're clearing whatever area you need to. You're taking care of whatever business. Now you need to go in shotgun mode for whatever reason. And <clears throat> what you're going to do, slide it this way. Now, is it pointing to the enemy? Well, you're not going to have the guy right there. You should know your distances or what you got to do. You're clearing the area. So, you're carrying it this way if you feel. If you wanted to, carry it this way, you know, not downward, you know, up. It's going to rub on your neck here, so that's one thing. So you want to feel comfortable. Nothing worse than you're feeling comfortable. That's going to take your your mind out of the game, kind of. If you're really uncomfortable, gear's not going to work for you, so you got to find a comfort area. This is more comfortable. So let's say you need to go this. Technique number two, you know, you're in your stance, you're getting ready, you're looking around, you got to do what you got to do. Pull it this way. If you have to, use both hands here. Pull this strap here. Now this is pointing this way. Here's how you get it out. Whether it's a pistol grip or, I'm going to demonstrate if it's a pistol grip shotgun. This way. Remember that hand down here? Good to go. Hand back over again. Now you're not going to do this. You don't want to do that. I don't even like doing that. It's uncomfortable. So you're this way. Remember, hand here because <coughs> that's going to grab nice and tight. Your hand here. It's pointed away from my body. I'm going to turn a bit. So it's completely always away from my body. Pull up the scabbard. Nothing wrong with that. With the other hand, you're in. So, pistol grip type. You pull it to the side right here. See what this looks like this way. Pull it this way. Your hand is right under. Right under here. Pull it out. It's a quick turn. Eventually, as you practice, remember, away from your body. 
pull this to you. It's no big deal. Once you're reholstering, it's no big deal. <coughs> if you want to do this fast, and I'll demonstrate it, you basically go here, you're out, and you're in. It doesn't take that long. So that's when you're carrying this way. If you're carrying this way, and you want, you know, you're starting to develop your technique and everything, getting better and better. Pistol grip type. Got a little stuck there. Still got the weapon out. Doesn't take that long. So, all right. So, like I said, you want to carry this way to make maybe better for the gear you're carrying, or you want to move it this way. Grab it this way. This is always here. That's all you're doing, and you're good to go. Point away from your body. Back in the scabbard. And there's your system right there. Now, if you don't have pistol grip, so you're one of those guys who don't like the pistol grip, and for whatever reason, you stay to the laws, and you just have the stock, whether it's retractable or others. So we're going to pretend there's no pistol grip. So we're going to use this as we're pretending it's just a regular stock. So the same technique applies. So down for this kind of technique, you grab the, the stock. Hand is still under there. You're already pointing. It doesn't take that long. It's very simple. Turn that hand. Look at this. Turn that hand over. That's all you're doing. Grab it. Point away from your body. This hand here. This goes out now. I'm doing it here, so let's pretend there's no uh, pistol grip right here. So, hand here. Your stock. Away from your body. Pull that in. The scabbard. And then you're good to go. So that's two methods right there in the front. The other one, I'm going to show you. Now, it's the front, but it's on the left side. Now, it, it's really weird, I'm telling you. And I've been doing this for a long time, even with this. And sometimes it just is weird. And if you feel comfortable, oh, this is where the only place you can carry it, then this is, I'm showing you techniques for that purpose. Not because uh, I think it's better. <coughs> Someone's always going to have an opinion. No, oh, that's not good. He's going to kill him. You know what, you can say that with people just drawing their gun out of their holsters, which have shot their feet, their fellow partners next to them, or themselves. So, everything is practice. Don't put out on technique because you're not used to it or you can't find an effective use for it. There is a use for pretty much most every technique, not all, but most, and some you may not have thought of. So, this is just to help those that are wondering. Here you go, same way. Put it this way, so if you feel like carrying it with the stock and pistol grip and or pistol grip this way on your left side, it's the same thing, except you're going to be reaching with your left hand. This one's going to be here, and it's just a little bit different, and you're out. for the, So for you lefties, so standing wrong, um, so for you lefties, that's what you would do. Point it. It's just kind of a little simpler, too. If you had no pistol grip, you're going to pull it it's out here in the front. You can even rest your hands on there, and then pull it back. So if it's a stock, same thing. See how you grab it? Same thing. And except you're not going to turn it upside down because it's already facing downward because you're carrying it to the left. So that's the other way of doing it. You're going to carry it this way and you want to draw from here. You're not going to draw this way. I am telling you, try it. Your wrist is killing you already. It, it's too much weight for your wrist to do that. So what you're doing is grabbing here, whether it's a stock or even pistol grip. As you get it out, your hand is here protecting it so it doesn't fall. Get it out. And you're in shock and So that's the way to carry it in the front, both directions. With the stock to the right, which is what I do, I'm right-handed. To the left, if I need to go left-handed, it's good to know, you might be injured. So that's the front. Now let's do the back. <sighs> so the back is kind of really, if you think this was odd for you, this is normal for me. So to the back, here we go. Now we're going to the back, and this is what it looks like from shoulder to the side of my body right here. So that's what it looks like carrying it like that. Now, look at this. Unless you got monkey arms that extend past your knees, hey, you have no problem. You can reach that shotgun and twirl it. <laughs> the rest of us in the world don't have that. We have normal sized length of arms. So in the movies you see them reach it and everything. Yeah, that's awesome. It's not realistic, obviously. So here's what you do. <clears throat> if it's like this, and you're carrying it, and this is fine because you're in carrying mode. Well, grab it, pull this forward. You're gonna have to pull this forward. That's just the only way to do it. And depending on what side, if I'm carrying it on the left side, see where my B 
because of the scabbard, see where my pistol grip is, or where the stock would be. So now you just grab your shotgun. You got to use both hands, obviously, and pull it out in your shotgun mode. That part's the easier part. Here's the hard part. You want to, you don't want to stick this in this way. It's not going to work. It's too dangerous and too much weight on your wrist. <clears throat> You're not going to use your left. That's movie stuff. So you want to grab the center, center mass of gravity here and all, because one way or the other way is not going to work. You got to remember which way your, your scabbard is. Look for that opening right here. Pull that scabbard to you. Keep this away from you. Remember, this is a short shotgun. It does weigh though. So this is the only way you're going to get it in um, if it's in your back. I mean, look, you got to pull it to your shoulder. It's already getting hard, and I've been doing this a long time. And stuck it in the wrong side. It's this way because I can't see it, even though I've done this a million times. Now it's the right way when it's smooth. That's the only way, folks, that I, well, it's not the only way, but it's very difficult. So now we're going to cross to the other side so I can show you for those that want to uh, um, do it the other way. <clears throat> see what happens with the long hair there? Got stuck. Now remember, I was going from this shoulder to body trunk. Now I'm going to do it from this side. And it's great for carrying. It, it's just trying to get the weapon out. It's terrible. Here's your padding. Put it on your neck because I'm telling you to be uncomfortable. It cuts in your neck. So this is what it looks like from the right shoulder to your body trunk to the left. So, alright, carrying part is easy. Put the padding here. If you don't put the padding there, I'm telling you it eats into your neck. It's, this thing is not made exactly for the best comfort. So to get it out, can't reach. Just <laughs> don't have the monkey arms, right? The length. So pull. This is going to move. So you want to pull this part. Now you're going to remember you can grab it. As long as you grab it, use both hands. Remember, you are, do not ever, and this is where it gets dangerous, put your hand. Natu naturally, you're going to need to pump it and take it off a of safe. Thank God. But don't want to put your hand, as you can see here, inside the trigger. That's why you're grabbing the outside right here and like this, kind of palming it. That way you're not reaching, which our hands are ergonomic. They want to reach in there and grab something. So you want to palm it. That way you're not in there. You can't get the trigger if you're palming like this. So you get it out, turn it, you're done. So get it back in, pain in the ass again. Remember, you're going to have to just memorize the way this is. Point it away from you. Like I said, this is dangerous. That's why you don't ever want to put your fingers here. It's the palming. If you palm, you can't get anything in there. So you want to stay away from the outside the trigger guard. And once again, I could try to look. And this thing, I'm telling you, it's just not the greatest way. Better have a partner help put it in for you if you were with a buddy. But if you're not, then at least you can get it out. But now you just saw carrying the front, it's a lot easier to take it out. A lot tactical and safer this way. I would suggest if you're going to carry like this, you're doing a long, long walk, hike, whatever it is. You don't have enemies they're going to, but you would obviously, if you're doing something like that, obviously you would have your, your pistol, maybe something else. If you're carrying this mode, you could actually carry an AR slinged in front of you. And this is just your need be shotgun, but you have it. Your three major things you need, obviously. Handgun, which is going to be some kind of pistol, uh, regardless of the ca uh, caliber. A shotgun and a rifle. Uh, regardless of the rifle, most you know rifles, AKs, ARs, you know honey type, whatever. But those are the three things basically. So if you wanted to go that load, remember you're carrying the weight, and it's good for carrying like that. But other than that, I personally find it it's easy to carry uh, behind you, but it's not easy to draw. So. I personally carry, would carry here in the front like I was showing you, but that's kind of trippy. So uh, let me show you now what it's going to look like on the tack vest. So we're going to take the sling off, and what you want to do, there's many types of tack vests, but this is just one I, a different style, all mine are different. So for different missions, different things, different uh, training I'm doing or whatever. So, just to let you look at it, and this is a very inexpensive Infinity Tactical.com, got it a million years ago. Very inexpensive, and I usually keep an extra one for friends, and they want to try it on and, you know, kind of 
have some fun, learn new things. Now, let's get to the point here, the molly. This is exactly where you're going to put that shotgun scabbard. So, this right here, this right here is going to go, depending on you, on this side. And notice, remember what I said, this opening is where your pistol grip or your gun is going to go. So it's going to go in this way. Um, so you can either have it on your right side or left side the same way or your right side but turned this way which means if it's pistol grip it's going to be pointing this way to your <coughs> to your left or on this side so that all depends on your right left hand so I would suggest um, you know playing with it so let's do this my makeshift table right here um, hold on, let me point this down for you guys okay so let's put this on really quick and I'm going to put it um, since I'm right handed I want the pistol grip to be on my right side. So I'm going to turn it this way. So when I insert the, the shotgun, remember this. Now this, you can use your 18 and a half inch barrel shotguns, this system right here, because it is comfortable actually. So if you insert it, remember the opening, that's where your pistol grip's going to go, like that. If you have it on this side, remember this is your back, then it's on that side. You have it this way, it's going to be that way on your back. If you have it on this side, same way, so it depends how you're going to reach. If you're lefty, righty, uh, ambidextrous like me in many ways, that's how it's going to fit. So let's put that on real quick, just so you kind of get an idea. But I've worn this, and it's very comfortable. So these are the long mollies, so we're going to just do it kind of quick here. And let's see. So we want it to be sturdy because we don't want the shotgun to fall out. Remember, the more mollies you use here, <coughs> the less space you're going to have. And you can actually put it even lower. I don't know why you do that, but hey, if the situation came down to that, then you know you can. You wouldn't be able to reach it, of course. Somebody would have to reach it for you. You'd have to take the vest off and uh, <coughs> then get your shotgun. So remember, it's not obviously going to be your primary weapon. So. I'll do a review on this vest and what I like about it. So I'm going to put the shotgun in and then put it on. The reason being is <clears throat> putting it on that way, it ain't going to happen. I'll tell you that right now. So let's raise this up a little bit. Okay, so what you do, even if it's uh, your 18 and a half inch uh, pistol grip, uh, I'm sorry, grip, uh, shotgun, insert it in here already. Now you're loaded, you're ready to go, you have the trigger, it's on safe, and that's what it looks like. I'll hold it up before I put it on. Uh, pretty much most any tack vest. You have, I have a tack vest that's a chest rig, and it crosses in the back with straps. This ain't going to work on that. So it's going to work on these type of tack vest types. So, all right, you want to put it on the side that it's on. So, for example, if I had put this on on the, this side, which would be my back left, my left back, then I would put it on this way. Reason being is the weight distribution. So since this is on my back, on my right side, we're back, see I'm holding it, it holds right there instead of hanging like that. It's not gonna fall out, but this is safer. <coughs> so you put it on to the side you have it on. These are pretty easy to put on, thank God. So, and by the way, you want to fix these straps when you're wearing your tack vest and you don't have that shotgun on or anything attached it's looser once you add that on it's going to be a little tighter so you want to kind of have that a little looser and then adjust your straps this is what it looks like it's very comfortable i cannot even tell that it's that it's actually on there you know if i was walking doing my hiking doing my uh perimeter check or whatever you're doing dealing with the enemy this is what it looks like. I'm telling you, I can't even feel it. This vest, I have it adjusted, so if I had all my mags and everything in here, I'm not going to feel the weight. So it's really, it feels really good. So, um, like I said, I can barely tell it's back there. So you try that out and see how you guys feel. Now, to get this out, I'm going to show you another technique. It is not easy. 
It sucks. It's great that it's back there. It looks cool. I think it looks cool. You're getting a nice view of it right here. The problem is getting to it. So if it was 18 and a half, it's going to be higher. Kind of like a periscope. It's going to be raised up here. You're probably going to, and that even is a little hard too. Not as hard as the shorter one. Reason being is it's standing up, but it's leaning back a bit. So here's what you do. Your vest is always moving around. You're going to grab right here your neck. You're going to pull forward. See that? You're going to pull forward. So I'm right-handed, so I'm standing back here. I'm in my stance. You know, let's say, okay, I'm in pistol mode. I need a shotgun. And by the way, on some of these vests, when you have these strings hanging out, right now I'm not doing it because I'm just demonstrating, but you definitely would hide them away because you don't want them stuck on your gun or anything else like this, like I just showed right now that it got stuck. So anyways, you're going to pull this. Notice it pulls forward. See, I know the, the pistol grip is on my right side. If I don't pull it, I can't reach that. Don't got those monkey arms. So pull it like this. I don't care how much gear you have. You can pull it. It's very comfortable. And then as you do, you can hold here, grab. Notice that? I can grab. So I'm going to show you how that looks right here. See the shotgun just went back and down a little bit. Still comfortable. I'm going to pull here. Now watch. It's closer. And I'm going to bend a little bit. So you're getting your shotgun out. See how I grabbed it? Now you want to use both hands because for safety. You don't want to do this one hand thing. That doesn't work. So I just pulled it out. You saw it was a little hard. I can still pull it out, but guess what? It's just difficult because it's in the back. Now, you're ready like this. You want to put it back. Oh, yeah, this is a doozy right here. Now, I know the pistol grip has to be on the right side. That's how the, the scabbard is made to fit right now because I have it on my right side. How do I get it back there like this? Oh, it's a bitch. So what you want to do again is pull right here, and very carefully, you want to... Pull this in the middle for the smaller shotguns, and you're going to try to feel that scabbard. It's, I'm going to show you. It's, and remember, you don't have mirrors. I've done this in the mirrors so you practice, which is a good idea. And of course, you don't want to, you don't want to drop this. Who wants to drop your weapon? So you're trying to pull your vest up, find the scabbard. You're holding it like this. You open it with your fingers. It's just, it's, it's, it's insane. I mean, look at this. It's. Sometimes I can't even get it on there, and I've been doing this off and on, off and on. And like I said, you don't want to let it go, because unless you can feel that it's completely in there, like that. Look how long that took me. Naturally, there would be no threat, because I'm going to be playing around with it. You can also take your, your attack vest off, rest up a couple minutes, a second, whatever, a couple seconds, put the shotgun in, and then put the vest back on. That's probably what I would do. So... Anyways, now you got to see how difficult that can be. Carrying purposes, not a problem. Carrying purposes is great. I mean, it feels good. I mean, there's no, you know, I don't feel an added weight. Um, try walking a bunch of miles, yeah, you're gonna feel the weight. So this is what it looks like like that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, it's just different techniques using this kind of scabbard. Uh, I think it's uh, uh, really cool. You know, it's nice to have options. It's just how you're going to use those options is what you have to figure out. What works for you? Um, you can take even some of what you may not feel works that I showed you and modify it to something that fits your gear or your thoughts or your techniques or your vehicle or whatever it is. So I do that. I've done it all my life. No matter how much I know and the experience and training I have, and I'm constantly training, Sometimes I see something, I'm not too thrilled that guy's technique or girl technique, but then I'm like, but I like something they did. And then I'll incorporate that into me to see if that works out. So, like I said, this is just another option. Just gear where you can have it, the techniques you can use to get that out. Practice slow, practice in the mirror. That does help a lot, I do that. You're not checking yourself out. You gotta look cool, of course. But you wanna do it in the mirror so you see what you're doing or what you're doing wrong. Watch my video if it helps you more. And then, of course, live training, please be careful. Um, don't have anything wet. I mean, like I said, some people forget. Hey, pulling your weapon out of your, out of your holster is dangerous, too, to ourselves or anyone else. So you have to constantly train and keep that mind safety set, you know, in here always. No screwing around. So if you're going to practice the techniques with a shotgun, a smaller type or 18 and a half, you know, the longer ones you're going to grab a little longer and then out. But... Be very careful. Start slow. You know, um, I don't want anybody to get hurt or fall down. This is something 
You want to make sure you're cognizant of anybody around you as well. Your target's always in front. Safety on this. When you're doing this thing with a shotgun, some guys may think, oh, save me a shave off a second or two. I'll keep it on hot. You know what? When I carried a Beretta before, it was always on hot because that's a different trigger system and the pull weighs longer. Some guys didn't, most guys didn't feel comfortable like that. I did. I trained. I never had a problem. Never had no accidental discharge like that. So, a Glock, of course, being different. And every time I put a lot, my finger's still there. So, it's just constant training. And um, I would not practice these techniques. I would have the safety on the shotgun always until you're on target. You're ready to shoot, take the safety off. If it's taking you too long to put safeties, you need to practice that. That's what it comes down to is everything's practice. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Click on the like button, my friends. And uh, leave your comments. Tell me what you think. Show me your techniques. Um, love to hear that. No bashing because that's not what it's about. We're all here to be intelligent and mature and um, pass on techniques and help each other. I don't do this. I do this because I love what I do. I love my training. It's just my kind of love. I like to share things with people. And if it helps somebody, awesome, because some things have helped me in other videos. So feel, uh, feel uh, happy to subscribe to me. <laughs> more videos will be coming, and uh, more on tack vests, different ones, and, of course, uh, some gear I have and techniques. And I'll show you my quick draw. That's pretty good. And um, anyways, you guys be safe. Uh, positive energy, everybody. Take care, and God bless.